Opposition lawmakers are calling for the ouster of President Martin Vizcarra on the grounds of moral incapacity. Vizcarra is a systematic liar. They say he lied to obstruct a graft probe after the culture ministry hired a little-known artist, Richard Cisneros, for $50,000, an outrageous amount by Peruvian standards. The president denies having anything to do with the case. If they want to ask to me, here I am, with my head up high and a clear conscience. No one bit of what's been showed illegally has grounds for an impeachment. I will not quit. Audio recordings of the president and his closest advisors discussing the Cisneros case have surfaced. Vizcarra says his opponents are plotting to remove him from office. Last week, he turned down a congressional request to testify on the case. No voy a negar. I will not deny the conversation, but we had internal coordinations to clarify what was happening in the context of the investigation. And during it, I said we shall tell the truth. However, analysts say there are other reasons behind the calls for impeachment. There has to be an investigation, but that doesn't imply that they should oust him. We reject impeachment. The case has been put together under dubious constitutional criteria, and it's driven by private interests that want to stir chaos, and that could have a very dangerous outcome. Seven months before the next general election, and with the worst health and economic crisis in more than 100 years, Peruvians say they are furious the government now has to deal with a political crisis. More than 30,000 Peruvians have died in the pandemic, and the economy is in a recession. Now many Peruvians say enough is enough. Peruvian politics is trash. They look for their own benefits and don't think about us. We've lost so much in this pandemic. It's not fair that we have to deal with this. This is a political circus. I don't justify Vizcarra, but the legislators are sinking the country. I feel terrible. 87 votes are needed to unseat Vizcarra. His lawyer will have one hour to defend him next week. For now, officials say they don't rule out any legal maneuverings that will maintain the country's political stability. Mariana Sánchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Perú.